Hi everyone, um, so today I thought I would do a quick scrapbooking video because a lot of people have asked me about my scrapbooking and what sort of supplies I use. So I thought I would just do a quick video on it um, because I've been doing something a little bit different this summer. So I have three scrapbook albums, one of them is um, from 1994 which is when I was born up until the end of 2011. Then I have a whole scrapbook for 2012 and then this one is my 2013 album. And I normally do um, full page scrapbooking, so um, this sort of 12 by 12 design. And there's a page here of pudding. <laughs> but this summer I knew that I was going to be doing quite a lot, and it's one of the last summers that I will have completely to myself, not having to worry too much about um, work or university or anything like that. So I wanted to document it really in detail. If any of you follow my blog, you will know that um, around this time last year, it might have even been later than this in the year, I discovered a system called Project Life. And it is a way of documenting your daily life while still um, having all the creative elements of scrapbooking. And it apparently works out a lot cheaper and... Um, it's a lot faster than 12 by 12 scrapbooking so I thought for this summer I would give it a go. I haven't really been blogging lately but I have shared some of these pages on my blog before so I'm sorry if you've already seen them. But basically my section for summer 2013 starts with just a big um, plain page of pattern paper. It's just stripey, I don't know if you can see that. And then I've used some letter stickers to spell out summer. 2013 just so that you know in future years when I flick back through the album I will um be able to look at it and know you know what year it was and why I started doing the scrapbooking in this way and basically I just use each separated pocket in the um, page protector as its own little miniature layout so I just use whatever photos I want yeah, I just use whatever photos I want, whatever embellishment I want, and I thought sort of come up with a colour scheme and then stick to that colour scheme. And these page protectors, I've got three different types. I think I've got um, Echo Park, American Crafts, and Project Life official Becky Higgins scrapbooking um, pages. But I only ever use one style, and it's the one that's got two um, four by six and four three by four. Traditionally Project Life is done week by week so most people use two pages like this to document one week um, whereas I just sort of document what I want when I want. Um, sometimes I'll only have one week in an entire um, in an entire, um, in just one page. Sometimes I'll have a week across two pages. Sometimes two pages can hold as many as three different weeks. Um, it just depends what I've been up to. But as you can see, even when they go across several different weeks, I try and keep the colour scheme the same so that it all translate well, translates well in the album. So like the page before had a turquoise and red sort of theme, whereas this one's yellow, pink, and then a chalkboard kind of effect. And I just love how simple it is to document little random moments of your daily life in a nice way, like this is when our chickens started laying eggs, and this is a photo of me and my brothers that the dog decided to jump in on. And then I've got a couple of photos from my little brother's birthday and when my other brother went to prom. Like, it's just so easy to put in those little details that you might not bother putting into a proper scrapbook. I'll layer. just flick through the rest of the pages so you can get an idea of what my album looks like. I know you can't really see much, but it's because there's details on the pages that um, I don't necessarily want everyone to see, so that's why I'm staying zoomed out. But, um... Yeah. As you can see, I do still do full page scrapbooking as well. Um, from this event, when I went to my friend's house, I had too many photos that I liked um, and wanted to put in my project life, but I didn't have enough room, so I just put it on a proper layout. And then this photo of my niece blowing bubbles, I really liked it, um, but I didn't have room on my layout, so I wanted to put it in its own page. There's some more here. A 
like I said, I am sorry, I know you can't see much, but you can get an idea. And as you can see, some weeks have a lot more writing than others. Um, the past few weeks have been quite busy, so this page and this one has a lot of journaling rather than photos. I didn't take many photos, but I had a lot to talk about. Um, this one I still need to find something to put here, but this one's got slightly more photos and slightly less writing, but it was a less busy week, so I didn't really have much to say. This, with, when was this? This was last week. And as you can see, I titled it A Very Busy Week. Because I had a lot to do. I had a lot of places to be. And then this, um, this was this week. This was Monday of this week, Bank Holiday Monday. But I had, I think I've got about 50 photos from Marwell Zoo. Um, and I had some that I really liked and I wanted to make a full page um, in my album so I just gave it a whole page because my birthday is on Saturday and I've got a lot going on so I wanted to have the option to have two whole pages to document my birthday um, and that's the beauty of Project Life you know, if you don't have much to talk about that week you can just skip it and no one will really notice um, but obviously if you do have a lot to talk about, you've got so much space to do it. And, um, so and I'm just, just going to talk quickly about supplies. In terms of albums, um, my favourite ones are the American Crafts ones, which um, this album is an American Crafts three ring album. Um, this one was designed by Crate Paper, so it's a really pretty flowery one, but they have so many designs. Um, I do also have two Project Life albums, but I don't really like them as much. Um, and then in terms of my actual scrapbooking supplies, I have a lot of 12 by 12 paper which I keep um, elsewhere on my desk. But for my project life, I have this little box that I got from Hobbycraft. And I keep all of my supplies in there. So I have 6 by 6 paper pads, I have doilies, I have stickers, I have 4 by 6 cards, I've got all my letter stickers and my pens. Um, up here I have all my wood veneer. I have little frames, I have all my die cuts, and then in here is where I keep my L Studio um, monthly kits. Um, and basically, L Studio is a scrapbooking company that do lovely paper, they're one of my favourites. Um, but they also do lots of tags and 3x4 cards. And every month you can buy a kit, I think it's for 9 99 on launch day. And um, they send you, I think it's like 10 die cuts, 7 or 8. 3x4 cards, 3 4x6 cards, um, you get quite a lot in a kit and I use those for my project, li project life layouts all the time. I have some bigger die cuts in here, some washi tape, my roller date stamp and my ink and I just take this with me whenever I want to do my project life layouts um, because it's a box, it has a handle um, and it has a lid so that's always handy and yeah that's basically it. My favourite companies are probably American Crafts and Crate Paper. But um, So I hope yeah. you enjoyed having a little sneak peek into my Project Life album. If people want to see um, more videos like this, definitely let me know. Um, I tried to keep it brief and didn't go into too much detail because I don't know how many people actually want to see these videos, but um, a couple of you have asked me. So yeah, if you want to see any more, let me know. Um, and I will be back with a university video very soon. See you later. Bye.